Bonafide Hustler here, and we are in the midst of the most amazing garage sale. The first garage sale of the day. It is cheddar weather for sure. Let's hit it. We just came from the sale right here. Unbelievable. Welcome to the video. Make sure you hit the like button. We got good stuff. We're gonna load the truck with the very first sale that we went through this morning. We've been here for 15 minutes. Check out what we found. We paid 120 for everything. And I think there's a lot of resale. There's a ton of resale on this. Hundreds of dollars. So that was one of the things for 120. A little jewelry box. New seen it game. Selling on Amazon for like 20. This one's like right here. Uh, 11 Dominion is like 65 on Amazon. We have some brand new Polk speakers just chilling in here. Uh, old director set right there. We have all those stools, that bike, these bats. We got three bats. Oh my gosh, and all that stuff right there. I think if we just keep stacking them, they'll fit right here, right? Oh no, there's Whitney Patagonia. right there. North Face Patagonia jacket. We got Whitney money right there. I'm telling you, man, we're starting the day off with a bang. It's crazy. So, we're gonna load this stuff up. It's only like 7 10 in the morning, and it's gonna be crazy. You'll see. All right, so yeah, crazy freaking day already. And uh, let's load this stuff up. I'm gonna have to do a pit stop in my house or something. And uh, let's hit up some garage sales. And my neighborhood is actually going off with neighborhood wide in about an hour, so I gotta hurry up. All right, so we're in transit now to the next garage sale, or it's like a fundraiser rummage sale and we are gonna do a pit stop at the house we might actually just switch vehicles like immediately and just leave this vehicle at e-money's house so anyways like a lot of money to be made from that last garage sale right yeah you spent 40 bucks yeah uh, i spent 80 so 120 combined is sagging a little bit yeah our tacos uh, sagging in the back our tacoma um but everything else is pretty good. Like it was a good garage sale. We showed up two minutes late and I really feel, I saw some other resellers there and the crazy part is they missed everything. They missed everything that was worth good money. Like they missed the whole thing. I could not believe it. Anyways, um, that's pretty much our, the start of our day. And uh, we're gonna be at this next garage sale in like five minutes. And after that, we're gonna go to my neighborhood and we're really gonna crush it. So here we go. All right, our next sale is this thing right here. Oh, well, that's the one with the stinky garage, isn't it? That's the one with all the tennis balls that I, that I got from Bobby. Oh man, we gotta go what there. What with the stinky garage? Yeah, there's something with a stinky garage here. Anyway, we're gonna go mess with this one. I can't, I can't get a really good footage angle here, but I'll uh, definitely show what we, what we pick up if we pick up anything. Say hi to my wife. No, you don't say hi to your wife. You are the wife. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whatever, man. It's for the people on YouTube. Say hi to my wife. All right, two expired inks bought for a dollar. Probably gonna try for 20 to 30 on eBay for this one. All those film crates, $15 paid for all of them. There's like 17 of them. I think on those film crates in my booth, I'd probably get five to eight bucks a piece on those things. There's nothing crazy, but people love doing, you know, really weird projects with these things. And uh, we're gonna load them up, and then we're gonna go to my neighborhood. Hey guys, you wanna see something funny? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude. Holy crap. I told you. I told you. Oh my gosh. This is a disaster. <laughs> All this for some money. Jesus. I Man, I didn't think it was going to get this packed up. E Money, my brother was like, hey, we can fit it all in my truck. And that was when the truck was already really, really full already. And he was like, you can fit all 17 of those film canister crate things in the car. So the compromise is my wife's head is now in the smallest corner of the entire truck now, wedged. <laughs> She's completely wedged in the back now. Hey, it's important to make money, guys. Even if you have to smush your wife's head in the corner of a car every now and then. Jeez. It's like... You can't even see her. Her, her <laughs> cavity is like freaking like a six by six. <laughs> you want to hear something funny? Is that if I had any bump, everything would jostle, but it would hardly even move. It's true. Because it's so tightly packed. There's a lot of stuff in this truck right now. We're not even going to unload it when we get home. We're just going to park the truck and we're going to go pick up my truck. 
and just go from the there. The only thing, well, uh, we're in my neighborhood now, and there are definitely some garage sales around here, but we can't go to them just yet because we got to drop this truck off, pick up my truck, and then um, you know, we'll go from there. Uh, I just caught word that there was also a Frank. Wow, there's actually tennis balls on the court, three of them, just sitting there. Peasants, squirrel, peasants. Wow. Where's it? So yeah, we're gonna. We're definitely gonna switch out the vehicles real quick and then we're gonna continue on with the day, do tacos and all that kind of stuff. There is a bike swap meet later on as well, so we're gonna check that out. Um, but the most important thing is to do a quick switch and get into another car that's completely empty. So that's the plan. Adios, truck, we'll see you later. Whoosh. We're in my spaceship now and we are cleared for takeoff. We clear for takeoff? Yep, let's go. Let's go. Where are we going to? Here. Our neighborhood, right? Why are you looking up here? You should look in this thing right here. Man, I don't like looking at the camera. <laughs> but this is where all the dudes are that like you. Me. The dudes. Garage sale sign. Oh, wakeboard. Oh, there's a wakeboard. Yes. Go, go, go. Oh. We must get it. Okay, so uh, we're going to be doing a lot of drive-bys and a lot of just really quick stops. So here's the first garage sale. Watch out. This lady's going to go walking. And uh, yeah, that's the first one right there. We bought a wakeboard. We bought a wakeboard from them before. Oh my! Oh, they got another wakeboard. Go. All right, so let's go check this one out. Uh, we'll see if we find anything here. Okay. You too hungry? I'm hungry. Can't even wait. No. Okay. Healthy bar though. Yeah. Kind bar kind of thing. Kind pressed fruit only. Fruit and chia. Okay. Smart. Emerson's popping on some wakeboard bindings. We got some CWB Zeus bindings, I think, with. Uh, the old style base plates, right? Not the six inch ones, but the, I think nine inch maybe. So there's still a market for that. It could be like 50 to 100 on eBay, but he's trying to get a deal worked out. He's way in the distance over there. So hopefully it doesn't take a long time. Gosh, man, eBay always takes super long to make his decisions. I'm a quick, quick, quick decision maker. Like, I'm just like, eh, it's, it's all about risk, right? You know, you're gonna have to lose some money here and there. But you have to make the decision pretty quick. That's the thing. Looks like he got them. Cool. How much? Nice. Eight bucks. Okay. Those are pretty good. CWB Zeus bindings with the uh, older base plates. Cool. Those are bindings for wakeboards. And wakeboards are lake related activities. And wakeboarding is a lake related activity. So go look it up if you're kind of confused on what it is. It, not, it should not be confused with... Uh, you know, slalom skiing, water skiing, wake surfing, or wake skating. So, uh, lots of things to learn out there. All right, to the next garage sale. We're just gonna try to find a bunch. This neighborhood one, and it's a beautiful day, so I can't, I can't imagine that we would have anything less than stellar results from today, because it's just a perfect day for garage sales. Perfect, like the weather's 66 degrees, it's perfect. I'm looking around, are you looking? Mm-hmm. Okay, look. Should be some. We're not even on a main intersection yet. You can always tell a garage sale when you just see a bunch of cars. I don't even have to see. I just know that there's something around here. There's got to be. Or else, where are the hell? Are these? Where are all these people? Yeah. Right there. It's right there, right? Yeah, here it is. See? Oh, wakeboard. <laughs> really? Anything good for the lake? Uh, Since we have a boat, you know, it's kind of like we, we look for lake-related things all the time. Uh, do you want to go to that? You want to check out that wakeboard real quick? All right, go. Okay, didn't find anything in that one. But there's probably 20 more in this neighborhood to go through, maybe 30. They're staying optimistic and we are definitely gonna find some stuff, 100%. Let's get to the main street here. Yeah, so this is my neighborhood. This is, you know, the hood that I cruiser bike in, skate in, whatever. This is where I've spent most of my time. Uh, and my house is in here. It's my first house I've ever purchased. I purchased it back in 2004. Pre-house crisis, so that was good. Okay, so the next garage sale I think is right there. And as we find things from these garage sales, we'll definitely show you, like to cover each one, or if I don't purchase something at certain ones, we're gonna keep it really good to where you guys can keep learning. We're gonna just find stuff and tell you what we're you know, hustling and show you as we find it, okay? So there's one right here. It looks pretty interesting. I got some boxes and stuff. Definitely gonna look at this. Picked this up at a garage sale just now. One, uh, 25 cents, speak and spell. I'll get it working, it probably has corrosion, but anyways, oh show it to the camera. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Bonafide hustler here. Did you find anything good here? Yep. Crazy scores. 
Look at this. FBA, we're gonna do FBA every one of these things for the most part. So we got some uh, like shower curtain rods or towel rods and some more rods over there for face towels and whatnot. 40 bucks for this whole lot. We got some more down there. Super good scores. Uh, we picked it all up like E-Money has said for 40 bucks and uh, each one of those things is like uh, yielding 15. They're all new. 15 to like 1726 like in a brand new condition with 250k rank and home improvement. Okay, so what is, what is that home improvement e-money? Less than 1% or in the top 1%. All right, so that is good stuff and that's what's, you know, what uh, FBA rank thing are you using, Emerson? It is from the green room. Actually, I think CP put it up. Okay, College Picker put it up. So yeah, we had a little rank sheet that College Picker put up. There's still a ton of garage sales in this neighborhood. I'm, I'm, my goal is to fill up this spaceship. I think we can do it. I think we can. Are we gonna do it today? You think it'll fill this thing up? Yep. All right. Again. So who who are you? To the people that might not know who you are. Who am I? Yeah. From the last time that you were on one of my videos, like there was, there's probably been a solid eight thousand more people that have joined my channel or something <laughs> like that. So like, who are you? I'm Whitney. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> I'm your wife. I'm Batman. Like. I'm, I'm <laughs> That's it. I'm Whitney. Your wife. Okay. <laughs> Alright. I mean that's fair enough. She's my wife. I love the enthusiasm. <laughs> so high. My god. I don't know. What do you want me to say? I don't know. It's only eight. Hi guys, I'm Whitney. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's terrible. Oh, no. Don't ever do that again. That one's <laughs> That's what I said. Is that what you want me to say? But one of the things when we come into garage sale, guys, is we, we try to rate it like right now. Like, do we go to it and collectively, it collectively, if we go, we like, yeah, that looks good, then we go for it. And if it doesn't look good, we don't go for it. Dude, we gotta come up. Uh, with yes, I gotta stop at this one. I see things on the table that look kind of interesting. There's a ceiling fan, there's some boots, some weird stuff. All right, let's definitely do this one. So uh, I popped on some Double H uh, women's boots right here, three dollars I think in the booth. I could probably get thirty to forty bucks for these. Really interesting style, very reminiscent of Justin Tassel boots. So this is nice. I like them. Um, there they go. And let's go to the next garage sale. All right, beautiful. Oh my God, this is definitely cheddar weather right here. Holy crap. The weird thing about my neighborhood is there's so many little offshoots of streets and so many little dead ends and this and that. So there's just there could be all kinds of sleeper garage shells in the corners and we don't see them. So we have to go around most of these streets and just look really carefully that way. All right, so there's one down here. Got to look. There's one down here somewhere, guys. Let me know if you still love the ride-alongs. Like honestly, like they take forever to edit. Um, but yeah, let me know if you love. I like filming them, but only as much as you guys want them to be filmed. You know, honestly. So let me know if you still love them. Put a Sorry, put a comment down below. I, I just saw, I went by someone's garage and the dude was working out. What's wrong with my eyebrow? <laughs> What's wrong with it? <laughs> what happened to my eyebrow? Oh. Oh. Dang. Dang, man. I had some vanilla ice action going on for a second. Wow, I didn't know it was doing There's that. There's your garage sale. Here's my garage sale. Okay, yes or no? Emerson? Uh, yes, one Okay. Next garage sale. You go over there. Yeah. Yeah. Me, actually. Be good. All right, so I just came from that garage sale right there. Uh, two bucks, I bought this, I think it's a retro vintage Jansport backpack with the leather bottom. So that was pretty nice score right there. Put that in the booth for like 20 to 40 bucks. And I picked up this no-name helmet, but uh, I really do think still with this condition, it's yeah. like mint and it's brand new. Like, okay. paid seven for this. It should sell locally in town for like 40 to 50 bucks. So, there you go. Man, so, yeah, man, I'm just popping left and right and trying to make more of this day here. Dude, this one. Dude, garage sales freaking everywhere in this neighborhood. Oh my god, they're everywhere in the neighborhood. All right, I'm going to this one back here. I'm going to try to show you what we find. They're just freaking everywhere. I cannot believe how many garage sales there are. We're not the first ones with a tin roof. Oh, yeah, cool. There's a tin roof. We don't have a tin roof, but yeah. I know, but we're not the a tin roof. Our HOA doesn't allow tin roofs. All right, from that busy garage sale right there, popped on something. Got these Clark Desert boots that are definitely used, but they're a dollar. And I could probably get about 20 to 30 in my booth for these all day. People liked weathered tarnished things in the booth, and these are perfect condition for that. So, perfect. And uh, let's go to the next garage sale. Okay, so before we get to the next neighborhood wide garage sale, 
we're gonna stop and get something a little bit different. We're gonna do something different today that was suggested to me by my wife. And if I don't do the suggestion, I'll get in big trouble. So, babe, <laughs> oh what's the suggestion? What are we doing? Fireman shots. Fireman shots from a place called Juiceland. So, if your name is Steve Rakin, uh, pay attention because this is the place that Connecticut will never have ever. Yeah, right. You'll never see something this amazing in Connecticut. Yeah, you will. I've Eventually. never been to Connecticut, but I already know that you'll never find a juice in Connecticut. Anyway, so we're gonna go get um, we're gonna go get some shots, and uh, they're really high energy, something like that. And check them out. They got all kinds of stuff. We'll make sure to show you all the stuff. Can't wait. Check it out, dude. Look at this. Do you cool. want uh, a double? Uh, no, I want to see. Cheddar weather. Cheddar weather. That's amazing. Um, we do uh, three firemen, one of which would double. Blue, both of those are here. Do you want to get shots for here too? I'll be right with you. Can I get a medium cocoa light? That's what we're having. I don't know. I'm not supposed to. Alright, those are the shots right there. Let's see yours real quick. I'm gonna see what your shot looks like. Dang. I have a sore throat, babe. You have a sore throat, alright. The lady there, she's like, cheddar weather, cool. Don't know what that means, but I'm like, since you're not down with the hustle channel. Come on. Let's go, dude. Alright. That's some good lighting Code. in this one part right here. How's my eyebrow doing? Good? <laughs> <laughs> Doing all right? All right, so uh, here's a shot. Here's your fireman's. What in the world? All right, so we'll crack it open. Be very careful, please. Okay. Damn. So there's a shot right there. Take a smell. Holy crap. I gotta tell you, wow. just from the smell of it, it smells. What does it smell like? Worcester sauce, right? Something. No. It smells like. What does it smell like? Pasta sauce with. Like, yeah, marinara. He's right about marinara. Marinara. Smells like a, a liquefied pizza, really. Yeah. Um, all right, so cheers. Cheers. To a good hustling day. Okay. Here we go. Wow. Oh my Ooh. God. Ooh. Ooh, that's not even an ah, that's just a oh. Whoa. <laughs> Here, pinch it. It does taste like a liquefied pizza. It does. A little acidic. A little acidic, extremely acidic. Um, there you go, fireman shot, and it had all those ingredients that I put on the camera. You guys saw it. It's like liquefied pizza bread. Yeah, it, it really does taste like liquefied pizza. Like, but apparently it's supposed to be like it's good energy, right? Yeah. Wow. It's supposed to Thank give you energy. It's not supposed to be energy. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Thank cool. You. Let's go to the next neighborhood wide garage sale. And that's it. I think after this, we call it a day. We go to Taco Deli, then we hit a bike swap meet, and uh, we are good to go at that point. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be picky and start zooming all around town and everything like that just to make my day incrementally better. You know, when you do really well, sometimes you just got to chill and, uh, you know, have some fun. But I, th I still think we're going to find some cool stuff at the bicycle swap meet. E Money, last bicycle swap meet, what'd you pick up? I picked up a Cyclops. Fluid 2 trainer, not the current date, but I think it was like two years old for $15 and I sold it for 100 this week. All right, so there you go, that's that. Um, I also have a trainer that uh, should sell for right around 120 or so. I picked it up over there for 60. And um, yeah, so once a month they have these uh, bike swap me things and you can find anything bike part related anything that you want that's bicycle related will be there in fact i found this nasa hat that has nothing to do with bicycle part this nasa trucker hat was found there for a dollar so it's like really cool you can find all kinds of cool stuff to resell so we're definitely gonna go hit that up after the tacos but for right now i gotta head down this one road over here and get to caballo ranch which is a pretty big neighborhood and hopefully there's gonna be some good stuff to find there all right so this is caballo ranch and we're gonna go check out some neighborhoods here. One of our good friends does live in this neighborhood, but that doesn't mean anything. I'm just saying, we do know someone that lives here. <laughs> Still doesn't mean anything, so. Um, maybe there'll be some good stuff. I know that a lot of people, okay, so like the people that have moved into this neighborhood, 
are a little bit on the younger side. This is, it seems like there's a little bit more younger type crowd that's in this neighborhood. So we're gonna go check it out and uh, see. There's Sarah Michael's house. Every corner of this neighborhood, I see something there. It doesn't look that good though. Oh, there's something in there. There's a fair amount of garage sales like in a very short, oh, there's a bike immersion. Yeah, we haven't gone very far. There's tons of garage sales already. So we're gonna stop and check it out. Pieces. Oh, there's a bike immersion. It looks good too. <clears throat> Let's try to pick that up. All right. I didn't even know you picked Shame up. on you. Shame on you. I didn't know you, you missed them. What do you mean? You don't know I'll pick up boots for my booth? No. Oh my god. They're plain. The, they're a dollar. I'm going to ask 20 to 28 in my booth for these. They're like mint condition. Well, not mint condition, but very, very good condition Justin boots. Single color. I'm all about it. I need to fill my boot wall up as big as I can. Especially for the fall season, so a dollar boot converted into 20, 28 bucks. Sign me up every single time. You money popped on some Gone with the Wind stuff, or no, John Wayne stuff. Yeah. Oh man, nice. So three bucks on all total. Three bucks total. How much is that going to give you on FBA? You think? Uh, no, I think I'm actually going to eBay these. Okay. All right. Yeah, How much do you think? Maybe 20, 30. Okay, cool. Okay, so we just got to this, we came back from this garage sale behind us in Caballo Ranch and we popped on something that is like number two or number three in PC. So you guys have to pay attention when you find um, rudder, yoke, kind of steering wheels with the pedals and all that kind of stuff for aviation training type things or flight simulator things. You guys start looking heavily into that kind of stuff. So Imani and I are splitting this, it was 40 bucks. I'm gonna take the actual pedals and he's gonna take the yoke stick and all that kind of stuff or rudder, yoke stick, whatever, the whole main control. And uh, both of these things are going to yield, they're number two or three of PNC, they're so low in rank, four out of five stars, and they're going to yield 92 for the pedals, and what is yours going for? Like, one thing, like one something. something. Yeah, one something for the stick right there. So I'm going to send my part in, he's going to send his part in, it's a USB out, it's so easy. Um, and yeah, number two in PC, so I'm going to convert 20 into about 90 bucks in about this fast, <laughs> like the second it checks in it'll be sold. So look for this kind of stuff and this is what the pedals look like right here all right and that's what the actual yoke stick i don't know if they call it a yoke it's called a yoke but that's not called a yoke stick just a yoke anyway so there you go that's what it is oh made it to the taco deli oh. cool in auto and amigos no yum how good is taco deli awesome <laughs> Does your brother know that her nope. order came out? Cheers to a good hustling day and we got a bicycle swap meet to see after this. Let's go. So we're done with Taco Deli and the bicycle swap meet was not that good. I really wish I could, get, I could have got some footage for you guys, but honestly I didn't have the camera on me when I went there. So I'm here at the house and I got to start switching things from vehicle to vehicle and everything and get stuff in my garage. I thought it was a really terrific ride along. If you like the ride along, make sure you hit the like button, put a comment down below. Hey, get yourself a Cheddar Weather shirt. Come on now. Let's be real. But it was fun hanging out with you guys. I'll see you on the next Bono Fight Hustle video. Take it easy. Goodbye.